absolute value rational inequalities. There's a bunch going on here. So first thing we see, and we need to make clear, this is this is less than. Isn't that what that says? This is less than that. Uh huh. Well, that breaks up into two cases. Okay. Just in case, that's a x minus a 6 divided by an x plus a 9. Fine. That's less than 1. And then there's the other one. Oh boy. That's the minus x minus 6. x plus 9 is smaller than 1. My book doesn't do it like that. Tell me so if you an example doesn't do it like that. Fine, let's talk about what happens. The stuff inside can be positive. The stuff inside could be negative. But what you don't know could be positive, could be negative. Here, if woo, that's gone. Now, uh, I multiply both sides by that minus 1, and that's an x minus a 6 divided by an x plus a 9. Fine. Whenever you multiply or divide by a negative number, then you flip the sign. Flip the sign. And don't forget to negate it. <laughs> the game plan for rational inequalities. Here we see we got the game plan. We first want to set it unequal to zero. Back that math up. Then we need one term. Oh, one term. We get the zeros of the numerator and the denominator. When you watch the videos, you'll understand what that D is. Uh-huh. And then we're going to test the intervals in between the critical values. So critical, we choose the appropriate in interval notation. Yeah, okay. And this one here. We need to back that math up. Get it all to one side. Now, that's an x minus a 6 divided by an x plus a 9, fine. And then that's a plus 1 is bigger than none. Why? Because we have to set it bigger than 0 in order to find the solution set to this rational inequality. Now, I get a common denominator, that's an x minus a 6 divided by an x plus a 9, and then that's plus an x plus a 9 divided by an x plus a 9, fine. Why? Because that's 1. Anything over itself is 1, except maybe 0 on some occasion. So on this occasion, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add them. We're going to add those two. Um, so then x and x is a 2x, a minus 6 and a 9 is a 3, t, t, and that's all divided by an x plus a 9, fine. Why is it like that? I don't know. It's just so far over. But moreover, we need to find the zeros of the numerator and the zeros of the denominator. So the zero of the numerator, boom, what makes that zero? That's a minus three halves. <laughs> All right, yeah. And then what makes that zero? That's a, a nine, fine. Minus sign on that nine, fine. Now, we good. These go on a number line. The left is most is that minus 9, the right is most is that minus 3 halves, then I have to find the signs in those guys. And what? We're checking 2x plus 3 divided by... That's not a minus. That said it was 9. Okay, so then that's an x plus a 9. Alright. So now I pick a number to the left of minus 9. How about minus a million? Minus a million in here is minus 2 million plus 3 is minus. Minus a million plus 9 is still minus. A minus divided by a minus is plus. Now I check a number in here. How about minus 3? A minus 3 makes that a minus 6 plus 3 is a minus. A minus 3 plus 9 is a positive. What am I doing? I'm checking the sign. A minus divided by a plus. When I checked minus 3, then that's going to be a minus there. See? Now what? Um, To the right of the zeros in there. So if I put a zero in there, 
That's a three. All right, I put a zero in there. That's a nine. That's positive. A positive over a positive is a positive. Are you sure? I'm positive. I guess we're over there now, huh? So what do I want? I want where this is bigger than zero. So that's here and that's there. No, I see. Pikachu! Now what? I need to deal with this other case, just in case. You didn't know. I need to get it all on one side. That's an x minus a 6 divided by an x plus a 9. Fine. Minus that 1. That needs to be smaller than 0. Because I subtracted that 1 off each side. Now what? That's an x minus a 6 divided by an x plus a 9. Fine. And then that's minus an x plus a 9. All right. Over an x plus a 9. Why? Because that's 1. Now what, Adam? You add their numerators. Note that, that, x minus an x is no x. <laughs> Very nice. So then that's minus 6 and then minus 9. Why? Because the minus goes to each term in that binomial. All right. And then that's all divided by an x plus a 9. Fine. Now. Adam, that's a minus 15. Oh God, oh God, oh. Oh God, oh God! X plus nine, fine. What, all of that needs to be smaller than zero, smaller than zero, smaller than zero. My zeros in the numerator, there aren't any, it's a minus 15. It's negative, but it's not zero. And then the denominator, it's a, a minus nine, fine. So on a number nine, fine. I put a minus nine, fine. And I'm checking in a minus 15 divided by an x plus a nine, fine. So what? What's to the left of minus nine? Minus 10, then I put a minus 10 in there, and that's a minus 15 divided by a minus 9, and that's negative, no, nope, positive, because a minus divided by a minus is plus. Now, to the right of 9, say 0. I put a 0 in the numerator, you can't, there's no place to stick it. So I put a 0 in the denominator, it's a positive 9, and then a negative divided by a positive is negative. And which ones do we want? We want where this is smaller than 0. Which numbers are smaller than 0? The positive numbers or the negative numbers? It's the negative numbers, so we want that. Now, oh. Oh, how's this go? This needs to be less than and and that's where they both happen at the same time. Where do they happen at the same time? Well, this yellow one, boom, boom, minus nine, and it's all yellow. That blue one is all good over here <coughs> at minus three halves and here at minus nine. So it's good here and it's good here. Where are they both shaded at the same time? Shady. <laughs> it's this business where they're shaded at the same time because it's and. And we write it as a minus three halves to infinity and beyond. Ah, ah. Box and flower. <laughs>